Hey guys, a quick update on the um, ventilator project that I'm working on uh, with my colleague Mihai. Uh, we did quite some progress and uh, we managed to make this uh, system more stable. And I will show you what I did and uh, I also upload the files on GitHub. We changed a few things on the um, hardware side and on the software. And uh, yeah, let me show you what we did. So after posting the, the project, I've got some requests that we should make the, the hardware two-part uh, control. So we have the controller and then we'll have uh, an API, like similar what we did to a different project. Uh, having it controlled by API and uh, no matter what happens with the user interface the um, machine should still go on. So we changed from the Arduino Nano to TNZ board 3.2. It's a bit more expensive but it feels like it's more trustful. I, I don't know, it, the processing speed is uh, also much higher. It can control the stepper motors uh, a lot more precisely. I think Arduino will do fine as well uh, for this kind of project uh, when you do it yourself at home and stuff like that. But in case it is going to be used uh, to be produced in any country, like uh, you will want uh, a better IC. So additionally to the board, we also added the pressure uh, sensors. Uh, those will be connected to the output of the... Um, so I'm using this PIP valve to test that it can push the pressure. It has a maximum of 20 centimeter uh, setting here, but I, I think it's going to be around 30 at this point, and it's pushing fine. So what we'll do with these two sensors, um, I'll add uh, the details in the, um, in the readme file on GitHub uh, about which kind of sensors we we'll used. Uh, we'll use a Venturi valve to measure the volume of air that's going through um, this, the output here. And uh, we'll also be able to measure the pressure inside uh, this chamber here. So right now I'm printing the Venturi valve. Tomorrow I should have it as well. Uh, after that we'll connect some hose with the mask and uh, have the oxygen mixing as well. It will be on the back here. This uh, Ambu bag comes with an expansion bag where the oxygen will sit to go. It, it's not going to be your emergency um, breathing machine that you have in the hospitals, but the purpose of this project is to supply the need of this kind of machines. So let me disconnect this for a second. We also chose a different driver one that's more compact and uh, it's better suited for this project. I changed the way that the belt is being um, uh, tensioned. Added this small tensioning here. And I also added the limit switch right here. So it's close to the working area actually. So because before I had some dead movement happening. And in case you you click on this, it's going to home to get this position and then it will return with the settings that uh, it had saved. So in case the belt moves and it loses some steps, when it's going back, it's going to hit the switch, home itself again and uh, go on. I know it's not 100%. Uh, precise with the belt and stuff but this is the most 
easy way I, I found to make this movement working properly and have it working with parts from uh, regular 3D printers uh, and stuff like that. So let me show you what control we have so far. I'll put the camera down for a sec. Alright, so let me open a console here. because I had it connected and disconnected from serial. Okay, so this is the API that I actually had at the moment. You control these two parameters. Before I had it some weird way for testing stuff uh, in percentage and people complain that doctors don't use percentages and they were right. Uh, so I made it to, to look like what the doctor would use. So if you want 20 breaths per minute and you want to ex it, inhale, exhale rate. And I also explain what that means because I saw others working on controllers and they got it wrong. So... This is how it looks. And I'm printing the times to, to check the motor speeds for inhale and exhale. So, let's see. Let's go crazy like 30 breaths per minute. Something that's more likely to be used, like fifteen. So, like I was saying, the inhale and exhale rate it means how much time it has to push the air into the lungs and uh, how much time to exhale it. So, for example, if you have twelve breaths per minute that means you have uh, one um, one cycle per uh, for each five seconds and um, what you do in case you have one and one inhale and exhale rate uh, you will have half the time inhaling and uh, half the time exhaling when you have a rate set to one and two so you you have to divide the total time so you'll divide five seconds uh, let's take six because it's easier to calculate so you'll divide six seconds to three and then you have two seconds to inhale and four seconds to exhale you do the same thing for uh, one and three uh, ratio uh, you divide uh, you divide it by Four, and then you will have you will have um, twenty percent of the time uh, inhaling, and the other seventy five percent exhaling. So that that's how the um, I, I checked a few videos on uh, how mechanical um, ventilators work, and uh, they explained all the settings and the modes that uh, it should work. And after we put this pressure sensors here we'll get some access to more advanced uh, algorithms to make this uh, like support um, support breathing when when the user tries to inhale 
it can trigger the machine it's going to get more advanced but I hope if this is going to be useful for the people we'll get some more advanced programmers joining and implementing these algorithms or finding a way to get access to some source code from other machines so we don't have to test the algorithms and stuff like that they, they are already into the machines that exist so that's another option if uh, if we get something or if you guys know some open source project or something like that like that's similar to this thing to get some uh, some of these uh, algorithms that we, we just replace the values there and uh, see that they work they they are proven they have a lot of checks to to see if they have for example if you are set on supporting breathing uh, you still want to have a minimum uh, amount of breaths per minute in case the user doesn't uh, try to breathe or stuff like that you still push air into him to keep him alive so yeah that that's the status of the project at this point like I said I will make it up I, I made it already um, I placed it on github I will push the new code with, um, with the Teensy board uh, this code should work on the Arduino as well I did not change anything it's still written in Arduino uh, it's the fastest way for me to develop and once all the code is tested and it works uh, as it should be it can be translated in C or C++ easily uh, by a programmer that does that every, uh, every day uh, because for me it is going to be overkill to try to implement this and uh, have the user interface going as well that will be written in Python and um, uh, will send commands to to the board so thanks for watching guys I wish you all the best and uh, if you have any questions uh, don't hesitate to contact me I'll try my best to, to make the files available in whichever format you can uh, check because I had a user from Pakistan saying that he could not open the files because the solid work version that I'm using is 2019 and it's not backward compatible so the files need to be open with 2019 as well but I added the STL files and you have some renders there basically you need to get this movement going uh, so what you will need is the ambu bag which comes with uh, this mask the ambu bag is cool that it has all the valves in place so you don't have to engineer any valves or 3D print or stuff like that so it comes like this by default but you'll have to extend this like put one meter of uh, hose to this and uh, I purchased some of these uh, pip valves because uh, I understand that uh, they are needed to treat the patients uh, with pneumonia so it, it needs to have a, a positive pressure when exhaling so that's what this is used for to set a, a positive pressure on it but we'll also use this as a safety valve in case the, the airway is blocked you don't want to, to push air so we'll we can make the spring harder in here so it goes uh, it increases the resistance but uh, at this point I think it, it's, it's just fine to be used as a safety valve when you, uh, you go over the, the set max value here so we see the spring is still going a, a couple of millimeters so yeah the oxygen goes here so you have the port for oxygen the bag will fill in the back I don't have it uh, here because it's accommodating uh, and yeah I will, I will be posting more videos with the development of this project uh, if you have any ideas or you want to join that git um, project that I did and you want to 
add some checks like do more checks on uh, on setting the speed or setting the the values there 